My uh, experience with Ed goes back over 40 years of being his friend and started back in Kansas. I think Ed was kind of drawn to me because I was from Kansas and had a strong interest in Kansas plants. I loved plants, loved learning and knowing about them and telling, talking to other people about it. Of course, Ed was always a plant man. And, so we kind of hooked up and used to take walks around the Kansas Newman College campus in uh, Wichita talking about herbs. Herbs were probably the strongest thing that bound Ed and I together, that, that mutual love and interest uh, in plants and the natural world. But the other great thing about Ed was play. Uh, the guy really liked to enjoy himself going back again to our college days. We were on basketball teams, softball teams together that continued on here in Portland. So, you know, he loved sports. He loved to dance, he loved music. Uh, he loved to party. Ed threw the best, the best parties. And so uh, it was always fun to be around for that reason because he liked to see other people having fun. And one of the things I really liked to, to have fun with is watch Ed dance. I really enjoyed just seeing him have such a good time on the dance floor. I, I, I don't know why. I, never, I don't like to watch people dance. I can't dance. And I just felt, you know, it made me happy to see him enjoying himself so much there. And then I think the other thing about Ed that really uh, he was well known for and, and I really connected a lot with him was what I called primordial water. And most people ignore it, but, but Ed never did. And the last road trip Ed and I uh, were on together on the way to American uh, Herbal conference in uh, Bend, Oregon was Kanita Hot Springs. We showed up there, it was late October. Late at night, we were the only people in the hotel pool. Next morning we got up, we had these huge pools at uh, Kanita, uh, all to ourselves again. Uh, Ed just loved to, to be in the water and to soak in the water. And my, my ultimate experience with Ed ties all these things together. The plants, the play, and the water. Just a few yards from here, in a hot tub over there on the banks of the Sandy River, Ed invited me one time to join him in the hot tub, so he filled the hot tub with nettle water. And he and I climbed into that tub. Between the, uh, the water and the nettles, there was an electric experience with that nettle water that I have never had nor ever expect to have. And coming out and literally uh, the skin was alive in a new way that and that, that was, to me, the epitome of, of characterizing who Ed was, was that he gave you a new way of looking at things, a unique experience of like, life, and uh, always pushed the envelope out there to the edge and uh, wanted to see, you know, what was there. Look over the horizon, look around the corner, look behind that tree, what, what's there? What, what is there for me there that n nobody else has ever seen or done before? So. Um, you know, I said Ed was my friend for 40 years. In the end, you know, we had a conversation one night. We decided, you know, we were really more brothers than friends. So, Ed, my brother, I miss you. I love you. It's been a great ride together. Thank you. So that's, that's our claim to fame, and we're sticking to it. I'm, I'm Ted, Farmer Ted, and I, I worked here at the Eclectic Farm for I think it was five years, not long enough. And uh, I, I, being here today has brought back a lot of memories. And I think the one that, that speaks loudest to me is the first time that I met Ed. So I came, I came to have an interview with Ed for the job of farm manager. And uh, so he went up and just kind of talked about Oregon Tilth and some of the things that uh, he was committed to and the things that I was committed to philosophy wise in in farming and agriculture and and uh, yeah you know, so he basically said okay well you got the job and and then he said by the way uh, you know I I need a ride uh, to my mechanic to pick up my my car it's a Jaguar and it's had some problems and so I've had it at the mechanic and and I need a ride to, 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 to go get it. So if you're leaving now, I'm, I'm gonna ride with you and you can drop me off. And so I was thinking, oh yeah, it's a Jag, you know, nice nice car and everything. And so we're probably going to like the, the Gresham Jaguar dealer. And you know, so we went back through the back roads and through Dodge Park and up the other side. And he said, okay, turn, turn left here into this field. 
and turned left off into this gravel driveway and, and we went through a little rickety wooden gate with a cattle guard on it and there was a bunch of old Jaguars sitting there and he said, oh, there's, there's my car, must be ready now. And so he had found a local guy out in the country that just worked on Jaguars in his, in his backyard and knew what to do with his car. And it wasn't some like corporate Wall Street Jaguar connection. It was a neighbor connection. And that's what, that's what I was always about. And that's what endeared me to Ed, is he searched out those people that were the little guys that could help him out and that he could help out and made connections happen. Identifying where, wild, where the wild nettles really came from and seeing the environment that it was discovered in is something that uh, I think is more valuable than it being grown in an organic farm. I'm Nadine Greenwood. I met Ed, I think, in 1990. Uh, so I came from France and I didn't have a profession when I came here. I was cleaning houses for a living. And then a friend of mine thought that I could be a really good salesperson, so he called Ed and said, look, I know you're looking for someone for Northern California Territory. I know this French girl, she's like a goat, mountain goat, and I think she could be great for your company. So Ed called me and he said, you are hired. I said, what? He said, yeah, you're hired. You're going to be working for me. So he said, you need to come up to Oregon and uh, spend a week and we're going to train you and yeah, you're going to work for Eclectic. So just imagine how big of a deal that was for me. I mean, I'm this little French immigrant with no diplomas, grew up on a farm in France. And Ed was giving me the opportunity to feel visible here and be in touch with nature and plants. And that's, that's how I grew up, you know. It was a big deal to move back away from my country. And I was missing nature. I was missing this whole experience of living on a farm. And I had no idea that I could actually find that here again. And Ed gave me the opportunity to stay, to have the link of my ancestors being farmers. You know, it gave me hope that I actually can make it. How did Ed trust in me that I can actually work for him and prove myself? And I did. The first couple of weeks that I worked for Eclectic, I doubled the sales. So Ed came down to the Bay Area. I um, went to pick him up at the Oakland airport. He opened the door get in my car and he said, well, I think you should be selling real estate. And I said, why are you saying that? He said, you double the sales, I think you should be selling real estate someday. And sure enough, after working for 10 years with Ed, I had no intention to sell real estate, but I've been in real estate now for almost 20 years. Anyway, long story short, Ed inspired me, and I love eccentric people. And it was a comfort for me to have Ed in my life and have very complicated conversation, but very sophisticated conversation. And I was always curious about Ed. Having a buddy that was able to read through me and understand my past and being able to embrace it and speak with him and learning. It was all about learning and good friendship. And I could feel a lot of love for Ed. He was a very, very close person for me. One of the most important people in this country, for sure. He helped me to trust 
me and find my way, you know, and trust the universe. I miss you, Ed. You are, you will always be my buddy and my guide. John Yuri Lloyd was a pharmacist and he was the person that created a lot of the extract products that came from the early eclectic medicine. And when I was practicing pharmacy in California for a number of years before I moved up to Oregon to start naturopathic medicine, I had a background in pharmacy that got me thinking that probably one of my best roles as a naturopathic doctor would be to develop products that were more in the line of, of uh, health than, rather than um, your usual medicine at the time. When I first met, met Ed, he was a pharmacist and he was just sick of giving pills to people day after day, week after week, and nobody got well. So he decided he'd go to naturopathic school and he followed his heart and yeah, and started Eclectic and the rest is history, Eclectic history. I mean, it's, it's, I, I, I compare Ed to Steve Jobs because he was just a man on a mission and nothing was going to stop him and he wasn't always the easiest person to work with or the nicest person, but he was brilliant and he had a vision and you just got on the train or you got left behind. And that's, that's the way it is. And I respect him for that. I didn't always agree with him, but I really respect him for that. So. Gonna be missed, Ed. But I can feel you here today, so. <sighs> anyway, I hope you're having a good journey in your yellow submarine. And that's it. That was beautiful. That was great. Oh, thanks. That was, that finished. Finished it very nicely. Thanks. Thank you so much.